The Lord is the strength of his people, a saving refuge for the one he has anointed. Save your people, Lord, and bless your heritage, and govern them forever. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Father. Today is Monday. It's a weekday in the 12th week of ordinary time. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, that we may always revere and love your holy name, for you never deprive of your guidance those you set firm on the foundation of your love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. reading from the second book of Kings. Shalomanser, king of Assyria, occupied the whole land and attacked Samaria, which he besieged for three years. In the ninth year of Hosea, king of Israel, the king of Assyria took Samaria and deported the children of Israel to Assyria, settling them in Hala, at the harbor of river of Gozan, and the cities of the Mazines. This came about because the children of Israel sinned against the Lord, their God, who had brought them up from the land of Egypt, from under the dominion of Pharaoh, king of Egypt, and because they venerated other gods. They followed the rights of the nations, whom the Lord had cleared out of the way of the children of Israel and the kings of Israel, whom they set up. And though the Lord warned Israel and Judah by every prophet and seer, give up your evil ways and keep my commandments and statutes in accordance with the entire law which I enjoined on your families and which I sent you by my servants, the prophets. They did not listen, but were stiff-necked as their fathers who had not believed in the Lord their God. They rejected his statutes the covenant which he had made with their fathers, and the warnings which he had given them, till in his great anger against Israel, the Lord put them away out of his sight. Only the tribe of Judah was left. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm. Help us with your right hand, O Lord, and answer us. O God, you have, re you have rejected us and broken your defenses. You have been angry. Rally us. You have rocked the country and split it open. Repair the cracks in it, for it is tottering. You have made your people feel hardships. You have given us stupefying wine. Have not you, O God, rejected us, so that you go not forth, O God, with our, with our armies? Give us aid against the foe, for worthless is the help of men.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Stop judging, that you may not be judged. For as you judge, you will, so will you be judged. And the measure with which you measure will be measured out to you. Why do you notice the splinter in your brother's eye, but do not perceive the wooden beam in your own eye? How can you say to your brother, let me remove that splinter from your eye while the wooden beam is in your eye? You hypocrite, remove the wooden beam from your eye first, then you will see clearly and remove the splinter from your brother's eye. The Gospel of the Lord. In our gospel today, Jesus is critical of those who refuse to acknowledge their own shortcomings as they draw attention to the faults of others. You hypocrite, he says, to those who would act this way. This is Jesus speaking the hard truth in love, though for once his targeted audience is not the Pharisees, elders, or scribes but he's speaking to his own disciples. It's an interesting scene in this part of the Sermon on the Mount, a bit of a dressing down or scolding that lies between dependence on God and what holiness entails in that long sermon. It needs very little exposition as Jesus is direct and concise. Each of us should have our own spiritual house in order before reproving another. But note that despite the initial command, stop judging, his teaching is not that we should never disregard the faults of others. If that were the case, his last words would be contradictory as he says, remove the wooden beam from your eye first, then you will see clearly to remove the splinter from your brother's eye. In condemning hypocrisy, Jesus is calling each and every one of us to integrity. How we act toward one another ought to reflect how God acts towards us, always out of love. Of course, Jesus has perfect integrity, and therefore call anyone us out on our failure to live up to God's commands. We, however, are imperfect. And while the Christian life does require charitable, fraternal correction of one another at times, it should never arise out of any motivation other than love. No ego, no arrogance, no narcissism, nor for a desire for power or self-promotion. In fact, it seems as if Christian love requires that we take care of our faults so that we may assist others in overcoming theirs as well. In other words, the Christian life is not just about fixing ourselves and then moving along as if all is well. The Christian life is a first, then, journey of growing in holiness. First, remove the beam, then you will see to remove the splinter. Let us give thanks for the one who has hung upon the wooden beam so we could see without splinters the way to eternal life. And may his grace in this Eucharist today enable us to love one another with integrity and humility. Please rise for our intercessions.
Confident of the Father's providential care for us, let us present our petitions for our needs and those of others, that members of the clergy may be strengthened and guided by the peace and mind of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord, that national leaders may be led by the spirit of life in promoting the dignity and sanctity of human life from conception through natural death. Let us pray to the Lord that those who have been harmed by people they trusted may find solace through the merciful care and blessings of God. Let us pray to the Lord that each of us here may have God's help in repenting of our own sins and growing in holiness and virtue. Let us pray to the Lord that those who have died may be welcomed into paradise to live in the fullness of God's presence forever. Let us pray to the Lord we pray for the intention of this Mass this morning for Walter Matter. Let us pray to the Lord. And we pray for our own special needs from the silence of our hearts. And for all those prayers recorded in our parish book of prayer, let us pray to the Lord. Now we pray together the prayer to St. Joseph. Good St. Joseph, as you led the Holy Family, watch over our families. Help our family and all families to know and share God's love. In our family relationships, may we find healing and seek to be holy. May our fathers help us to become faithful disciples of Jesus who share our love for him. As foster father of Jesus, watch over all who serve as spiritual fathers. In a special way, bless our Holy Father, our Bishop, and our priest. Follow your humble example in their fatherly care for the people of God, the church. With Mary, you raise Jesus, the high priest. You know our need for priests. Please raise up good and holy priests from our families to serve the people of our diocese. May our children and grandchildren hear and say yes to the call of Jesus, just as you and Mary did. Good St. Joseph, pray for us. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands that will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands that will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation and praise, and grant that cleansed by its action, we may make offering of a heart pleasing to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. 
And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Paulinus of Nola, with John, St. John Fisher, St. Thomas More, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, which your servant Francis our Pope and David our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. The Savior's command and form of divine teaching we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, 
we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God. And behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Mean an anaphon. The eyes of all look to you, Lord, and you give them their food in due season. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Renewed and nourished by the sacred body and precious blood of your Son, we ask of your mercy, O Lord, that what we celebrate with constant devotion we may, we may be a sure pledge of redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.
prayer to St. Michael. St. Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls, amen. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thy intercession was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto thee, O Virgin of Virgins, my mother. To thee I come, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in thy mercy hear and answer me. Amen.